A while ago, I put out a video about using a device called the Easy CO2 generator, which uses some kind of fungus and some kind of biological material to generate CO2. I paid $24 for that thing, and I suspect it probably works. A few days after that, I discovered a video about using a combination of yeast and sugar to make CO2. That's what this video is going to be about. This is not original with me. You can find a number of things out there. But in case you haven't found those videos, I'm going to make one for you. What I'm using is this container that used to have mango juice in it. In the top, I drilled a 3 seconds hole that the CO2 will come out of. The ingredients are going to be two-thirds of a cup of sugar. And then I got this Fleischmann's. Rapid Rise Instant Yeast. I think these cost about $2 for three packs and the sugar is really cheap. So, so this whole thing is going to cost less than $2 and it will probably work just fine. So I'm going to pour the sugar in, two thirds of a cup. And I'm going to put in the yeast. I think there was some comment about this in terms of being good for bread machines, that it doesn't take a lot of warm-up. So the yeast goes in. The water I'm going to use for this is water that was filtered through a drip filter. And I heated it to 110 degrees. I want it to be warm, but not too hot. That's probably enough. So, I'm going to shake this thing up here. Probably pretty well mixed. It's not sealing very tight. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So hopefully this will start working fairly quickly and generate some nice CO2 to feed my little plants. There we go. That's on tight now. All right. So after just a few minutes, I'm seeing bubbles forming on the top of this. These bubbles could be foam from shaking up the container, but they keep forming. So I suspect that this is actually CO2 coming up out of this yeast already. That may be the advantage of using this fast start yeast.